Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing a live stream. Today our live stream is going to be all about the how many hotels, Mackenzie? 20. 20 Walt Disney World hotels that we will be staying at during 2020 while we attempt to accomplish the ultimate Disney World bucket list. So we have a lot to get through, a lot to talk about. So we're going to kick it off, get right into it right now by starting with the Disney's All-Star Resorts. How many Disney All-Star Resorts are there, Mackenzie? We. And what are their names? All-Star Music, All-Star Movies, and All-Star Sports. That's right. Right now, currently of the 20 that we have on our list, uh, Disney All-Star Music is on the list. We do not have the other two right now. We are going to save those in case we need a, a, like a rival night hotel. We'll end up throwing those in there. But as of right now, Disney's all-star music is on the list. So that, um, And then just in case you guys have never stayed there, you don't know, it's on your list, the places you want to stay. Um, we are going to, um, or sorry, they're all connected to each other, kind of. Like you can walk between the three. So if you want to try out the other food courts, if you want to... Um, Check out the other resorts. You could easily get to and from each one. So that's really cool about those. I will also say the all-star resorts right now are all going under room refurbishments. Uh, Disney's all-star music resort will be done first, followed by movies, followed by sports, in case those, again, are on your list so that you know and are aware of the timing of those. Um, but, yeah, so right now they are refurbing music, and um, those will be done first. So. Hopefully we will get to stay in a refurbished room and try it out. And then that way we can share it with all of you guys. And um, they look fantastic by the photos of the ones that have been redone. Uh, they did the wood flooring. They went to queen size beds, which is amazing. Wait, Double was the beds before? Doubles. And so that's just a little tight, you know, especially for two adults. A double bed is, is pretty tight. An adult child's probably fine, but, um, but it's very similar to the style of pop century. So, um, and then, so moving on, uh, we will look. Uh, we will talk about Disney's Pop Century Resort. You're pretty excited about that one. It is high on your list. Um, that resort has theming where they kind of took pieces of uh, from the 1950s all the way through the 1990s uh, centuries and are like did some cool things like giant yo-yos and I think some of it is um, disco dancing and oh, there's yeah. like roller skating yeah. and. So we have yet to stay there, but it, it was already on our list. So it's it's made the list. We will be staying there. Again, those rooms have been recently redone. Also with queen size beds, wood flooring. It looks great. We are very excited Wait, to try those so out. With the wood flooring, it's like room? Yeah. Oh, we've been okay. it's been kind of similar to the other places we've stayed. They've definitely are moving to as much wood flooring as they can do. So um, I like the carpet. Though. Yeah, I know. The carpet's a little sad to to miss out on, but um Okay, so that is great. We've heard great things about that hotel. We've also heard great things about that food court. So we're very excited to check all of that out as well. Um, and then the last one for a value is Mackenzie's very high on her list is what, Mackenzie? Art of animation. The art of animation. So um, this one's a little Sorry. hard to kind of put in the value resort. So the Little Mermaid rooms, um, themed Sorry. rooms, are decently priced for a value, I would say. However, the suites there um, are pretty spendy. Most of the time, easily as much as a moderate, if not a little more. And Three. Mackenzie's being a fish for the Finding Nemo themed suite. Yeah. But I will say finding a room there for a decent price for six people is pretty hard to do. Yeah, so it does, if you have like six people, space. this is probably your best bet. But um, yeah, there's like a yeah. bed that Goes to the wall, does a pull out bed. There's a Murphy like bed, yeah. two rooms. Like, yeah, it's lot. great. It's great. And they're beautifully themed. They and really are. Bedrooms, so the, the theming <laughs> is and the um, Finding yeah. Nemo. And um, Finding Nemo and um, cars. cars. Cars and Lion King. Yeah. Lion so there are King. three sure. different themed uh, suites that you can do, all in like themed buildings. And the whole area is yeah. themed. So, like the Dory, like in like front of it, there's like a bunch of there's, um, statues kind of like. What's the sea turtle's name? Turtle. Oh, crush, crush. Yeah, you can't think of it. Like there's a statue of him on his back in the yeah. water. Yeah, so it's very themed. We are very excited to try it out. Um, again, if you've stayed at any of these hotels, make sure you let us know in the comments uh, to the side here, so that side, we can, <laughs> um, so we can see what you guys think of these hotels. Um, I can see ears, etc. Is here. So I hi guys, <laughs> and um, 
they will also be staying at music this year. So they will have some good content about that as well. Yes. Um, and so that kind of covers the values. The two things I do want to talk about, about the last two we just said, which is pop century and art of animation. Those will be on the skyliner route. So that will be oh, yeah, very exciting. Yeah. And for me, that makes it extru- Oh, wait, I don't know. Movies. I keep mixing it up. Sorry. It, 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 you're right, though. It is movies. <laughs> so movies is the one getting redone right now, um, followed by music and sports, I believe. And I don't know. Now I'm going to have to double check that. So I'll have to let you guys know because I think I wrote it down as music is getting redone. No, so now I don't know. Now I'm confused myself. But yeah, anyway, me. we'll figure that out and let you guys know. Yeah. Um, and then, so the Skyliner, though, is going to be a fantastic way. And it really See. brings value to the values. I'm not going to lie. Because you can them. easily <laughs> get back and forth between um, Hollywood Studios and Epcot. So yeah. that's huge. Instead of huge. Just fighting Yeah. The only part that Mommy is not a fan of the Skyliner is that up above. Yeah, I don't love heights, and I don't know that I love the idea of... You might fall in. No, I'm not really scared of falling. I don't think... I just I'm scared don't of love falling. it. But <laughs> anyway, it'll be great. We're going to be super excited to try it out. And um, we should be trying it out in January because yeah. in a second, we're going to talk about a different hotel um, that we will have on our agenda for January. So hopefully yeah. we will get to try out the Skyliner and show everybody and let us everybody know what we think. So... Um, uh, okay, so up next is the moderates, oh, which is um, yeah, got a little windy outside. So, um, so the next one will be moderates. So we'll start with Port Orleans French Quarter. We oh, have yet to stay there as well. We've heard really good things about it. Um, really good things. It's next oh, to the not the French. Yeah, we, we stayed at River. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but this will be Where fun because we'll be doing the French Quarter. Um, it's very New Orleans, uh, French quarter. They themed it very well. You can get the beignets there, which I'm very excited about. Bayo! Not Bayo. Uh, the beignets, like the, uh, the donut yeah, looking thing. The yeah. donut things. That are um, not that we don't love anything that comes in a Mickey shaped dessert anyway, but we're going to definitely be trying Mickey those. Shape. Yes. Um, and That's that also, as part. well as Port Orleans Riverside have both went under, soft good refurbs um, in their rooms. So that is great because that, you know, kind of changes out the bedding and the theme, a little bit of the theming, not crazy, crazy, but it does make the room feel refreshed. So it is very nice and we're excited to try that out. Um, Both uh, Port Orleans, Riverside and French Quarter sit along a river. So it's very peaceful. It's very serene. Um, It's very quiet. (laughs) They do have a little bit of wildlife mm. around so that's always <laughs> fun there's snakes that have been seen there we have seen ratatouille. Ma- uh, ratatouille but it's it's great it's very quiet it's very nice a great place to relax when you're not at the parks um and that is also where we will do the horse and carriage ride yep, 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 yep. Uh, what's happening right now <laughs> and um so we'll be doing that as well and then we will try out the um Royal Rooms when we stay there again, I think, because no Mackenzie, idea. I don't think, has a great memory of the last time we stayed there. So Wait, I think it will be fun. Room? Yeah. You from pictures, oh. you can. But it's, uh, you I were very young. The, uh, yeah. When I remember the castles on, on the bed. bed. It's their really cool rooms. So we're excited to show everybody that. Um, also, when you're at those resorts, it's only a boat ride away to get to where, Mackenzie? Uh, Disney Springs. Disney Springs. <laughs> Disney Springs. So that makes it fun. Um, and especially if you're going to spend a lot of time at Disney Springs, that's a great place to stay. Either of those. Um, so now we will go to uh, Coronado Springs Resort. We have stayed there before. It was prior to them doing the room refurb there or adding a 15 story tower, <laughs> which we have not been there since that as well. So I've been in a higher tower. Um, I've been in we a do building than that. Yeah, but this is still pretty big. Like I mean, fifty nine is... stories. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we are very excited. We are going to try to stay in one of the tower rooms um, to try those out. So that will be no on the frogs plan. By the door, I'm fine. There won't be any frogs. It's inside. Um, um, okay, then yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so we are definitely going to attempt to try to 
check out the 15 story Grand Destino Tower. Um, they also have a restaurant they put at the top of the 15 story building called Toledo. Well, um, like the yeah, so and you can see restaurant. all the nighttime or at least most of the nighttime shows from there, which is amazing. And they also just opened their other one, which is Three Bridges Bar and Grill. It sits over the water, and I do believe you can also like see bungalow. some of the nighttime shows from there. Bungalow. Well, no, it's a restaurant, but know, but it's like a bungalow. so <laughs> it's supposed to be really great. And so hopefully we'll be able to at least try out one of those, if not both of those, while we're there. Hi, Summer. Thanks for being here. Um, okay, so our other one is going to be um, in the moderate category is Caribbean Beach Resort. That hotel will be the one we stay at the longest uh, in March with um, Mackenzie's grandma. So that is the only trip we will not be swapping hotels every night. So we will go there, stay there, fully immersed into the Caribbean Beach Resort. Again, we have not stayed there. We're very excited. We have not. No, we've not. You wouldn't really know. But no. And so um, we are excited to try it out. I think... I get the feeling that it's a little Polynesian as far as it's tropical. You know, it's all about the beach. And they just redid, like, all the main building stuff. So we're excited about that. The restaurant they put in there is Sebastian's Bistro. It's supposed to be really good. But it has been great, great response coming from there. Again, this resort is on the Skyliner. So it will be another opportunity for us to easily get to Epcot and um hollywood studios via the skyliner and really makes this resort really really worth its value because that's fantastic so very excited to try that out okay i'm gonna flip my page okay so now we're going to talk about deluxe resorts not quite getting to the deluxe um disney vacation club resorts yet but just full-blown deluxe resorts which uh, brings us to the Beach Club and the Yacht Club, which sit side by side uh, next, right outside of the gates of Epcot. Mackenzie, please stop. (laughs) And um, we are very excited to, we have stayed at the Yacht Club once. Uh, We've not stayed at the Beach Club, so we're excited to try that out. And um, again, they share this amazing pool. It has a lazy river, has a crazy water slide that Mackenzie has yet to ride. It's like, it's like a ship and it like starts like a hundred feet. It's, it is big. It's pretty legit. It's a really amazing pool. Yeah. Part of the pool has sand, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like a sand like, bottom yeah, pool. Like sand. I didn't actually get in the pool, but. But McKinsey there was like try. a sand bottom. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's a really great place. Sand so we are excited to try that out. Um, both of those Delicious. have also gotten their soft good room refurbs. And so. They went to like hardwood floors and um, it looks great. We did stay at the Yacht Club after the room refurb and I, we really liked it. So we are I looking forward to seeing the that. Beach Club version. But um, uh, up next is Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. We have stayed here as well, but we want to stay there again um, just to bring it to everybody. And um, yeah. we stayed in the building. Yeah. Well, the main building and the outside yeah. building. Yeah. The main building and yeah, so um, we will do that as well because it's just their amazing grounds too. and their pool is great. So, yeah. It's like a kitty. And it's like a lot more. She's gotten too big. <laughs> they let me in the poly one. So, Summer, great question. So, these are all the hotels we'll stay at over the entire year of 2020. So, um, some of these will be the January trip. Some will be March. Some will be June. Some will be September and some will be November, all in 2020, all kind of scattered. Um, As we go get closer to each trip, we are going to lay out which exact hotels we are staying at for that exact trip and kind of get into details about what we'll do at those hotels, what we hope to accomplish, that kind of stuff. Yes. But right (laughs) now we're just kind of throwing out which ones we're going to um, stay at. So, yes, you've got jokes. Um. So up next is the Disney's Wilderness Lodge. And so we have not technically stayed at the Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We stayed at Disney's Copper Creek. And um, it's actually an interesting setup because it's in the same building just off to the side. And um, we stayed there pretty quickly after they got the renovation done for the Copper Creek side. So it was really nice. It was really nice. But this time we're going to go full-blown Disney Wilderness, try it out. We, um, I can tell you that this will be 
fingers crossed as, as long as availability works out for us will be during the holiday season because as well as the Grand Floridian, um, they both, the Wilderness Lodge and the Grand Floridian do these crazy trees and it's just a beautiful place to be and um, at Christmas. So we, we really are going to try to hit up Disney's Wilderness Lodge during the holidays. We did Grand Floridian last year, so um, we'll probably do that one at a different time. Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. It's just well, yeah. I meant really, like the really busy. Level. Yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> um, it's like up next is Disney's Contemporary Resort. This is very high on our bucket list. It was on a bucket list in general before we attempt to do the ultimate bucket list. So of course it, it made the list. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, this is the resort where the monorail goes through the middle of it. So it's yeah. pretty iconic and um, definitely. One that I think most people remember when they visit Disney World. Yeah, you so. can, like, see it. Yeah, so it's great. You can and walk. Wow, you're right. And that's one of my favorite things about it is you can walk to and from Magic Kingdom from there. And so that's fantastic, especially if you think about at night when you're trying to leave with the crowd. Like, to not have to go try to get on a bus or, um, a, mon- or a monorail or a boat. Like, to just be able to walk and be there and just be done with it. I'm it's excited about that. Walk. And we have not stayed there yet either. So we're excited. And right next to Wait, we haven't got there yet. You're jumping ahead. <laughs> She's trying to give you guys all the good stuff early. I want to see. That. Okay. Um, so we're excited about that. And we did just hear this past week that they are um, tra- testing out some Incredibles themed rooms. And I don't know if all of you know this about me, but I love the Incredibles. She's but- amazing. Yeah, I like to the point where like my notebook for today is like an Incredibles notebook. Yeah, I- yeah. so um, I'm really excited and I really hope the rooms stick because I would love to stay in an Incredibles room. I'm not going to lie. I might even like dress up one day. As it's like, like no, 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 I, will, no, no, I will have to work that out if we get an Incredibles room because that's that would be pretty, and there's an pretty amazing for me. Monorail. Yeah. Right, so... Super convenient place. Definitely a place where you're looking forward to staying. Um, And then the last one for the deluxe is Disney's Boardwalk Inn, which is a huge fan favorite for a lot of you guys. That's the clown pool. Uh, In the Epcot area, uh, it does really reflect a boardwalk like you would remember. You know, we'll go to like Atlantic City or anything like that. And so it's great. Um. I do know Ears, et cetera, is staying there in a couple weeks. So they will be able to give us a lot of um, tips and tricks that they learned and things that they liked and things to look out and for. So, okay, it does have a really interesting clown, cloud. Clown, clown pool, but it's a slide. You come out of its mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but um, anyway, so that is on the agenda <laughs> as well. Uh, I don't care remember if I said it's in the Epcot area, but it is. So you can walk yeah. to Epcot easily. And technically, from any of those resorts, you can walk to Hollywood Studios. It's just a good walk. walk. It's a good walk. And so instead, you can take the boat over to that. So, so that you, way. If you like to run, you go there. Yeah. It's a good running path. Yeah. <laughs> um, up next is, and finally. Clowns love that. Clowns, yeah. I'm sure they do. Um, is the Disney Vacation Club Resorts. Um we, besides Copper Creek, have not stayed at any vacation club resorts. So, yeah, that was vacation club. So we're excited to try some out. On the list first is Saratoga Springs. Um, and that one will be hopefully in the January trip because we will be spending time over. <laughs> I see that, Elliot. I like it. You're right. That is definitely true. Um, but Saratoga Springs is, uh, on the list for January because we will be spending (laughs) part of the evening at, uh, Disney Springs. Um, so we just thought it'd be easy to be able to walk back and forth, um, from there. So we would try that out. And then the next one is old key, key West. Um, (laughs) and that is also in the same area, um, where you can take a boat to, uh, Disney Springs as well. And so that's a great one. That one recently went under, a room refurb. So it's supposed to be really nice and they definitely needed one. It was starting to show its age a little. Um, and Saratoga Springs right now is going under a re, re a room refurb as well, but that one is just starting and will go through 2021. So 
I'm a little nervous about that one because I don't know exactly what that will look like when we go there, but I'm hoping it'll be just, it'll be good and it'll be fine. And it won't even, we won't even notice is what I'm hoping for. So, um, it's like we won't hear anything. Another one. And you probably noticed that I did not list the Disney Polynesian resort when yeah. I talked about deluxe. That's because like, we are switching it up and um, we are going to stay at the Disney Polynesian Disney villas, villas and bungalows. bungalows. So we're going to try to stay in a studio. Um, Cause I picked that. From- yeah. A studio room there. That is the, will be for Mackenzie's birthday. And I got um, out of the yeah. And, the- I'm not gonna- and I will say that is why we're wearing the lace. Cause I did want to touch base Yay. like on, and some yes, of these are. resorts, when you go, oh, you get some why? cool things. And um, at the Polynesian, one of the things you get that is really cool is the lays. And now they've even changed it up to where you get certain colors instead of yeah. like, it used to be like kind of rainbow, like Mackenzie's necklace. But um, now it is, uh, it it is, you get to kind of pick the colors. Like this was purple. There was pink and green, I believe, and blue. So there's like, it's a lot of fun, and it kind of makes it a little more authentic when you get there to feel like you went to those places and got it. So, so fun. Wow. Yeah, fun it'll be a great birthday trip. Um, again, below. we'll only be staying one night at all these hotels except, so that we can get them except, all, except the Caribbean Beach, but so that we can kind of get them all done. Um, but we are excited to try out. We will still be at the Polynesian, but it is in a different longhouse, so it will be new. And... Um, <laughs> The rooms do look different, so I'm excited for that too. Mackenzie's top. <laughs> um, and then another one, which is the one you want to talk about? Bay Lake. So the Bay Lake Tower Disney. at Disney's yeah. Contemporary Resort is kind of like the round-looking building that sits right next Circle. to the Contemporary. The s- not square. No, it's like it's just it's like round, like a round. Yeah. It has a flat. And it's just a so we're excited to try that out. Um, and check it out for sure and uh, give that one a go. Yeah. And um, Disney's Animal Kingdom, I also did not name in the deluxe. Um, as some of you remember, a few years ago or a couple years ago, we did the, you know, you choose our vacation for us. And of those, the Polynesian that. and the Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge was your favorites. Yeah, bringing you all along with those. So we didn't want to continue we were trying to switch it up to give you guys fresh stuff so we instead of staying at the main building of animal kingdom lodge we are going to do disney's animal kingdom villas at kidani village yeah um and for (laughs) any of you that have ate at um sanai that is where that is located so um we're excited to try out a different portion of disney's animal kingdom lodge so that will be fun um we still get animals out of our window so Yes, no, and it's still on the safari. It's still right there, so it's great. So, um, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Um, And for the last one, I might have saved somewhat of the best for last. And I have a little um, booklet that they sent us. But so the last one for the Disney Vacation Club is going to be the brand new resort, which is Disney's Riviera Resort. Um, We, (laughs) it looks fantastic. Um, it is set to open at the end of uh, December. We are hoping to stay here during our January trip. Um, again, this one is on the Skyliner. Um, and then I don't know if everybody has really looked into this, but. Um, yeah, we, they mail us the stuff. Yeah. So like this one's pretty exciting, though, because it's going to it's a very European inspired. Um, and it just looks great. They haven't really released a ton of stuff, but I did want to show, and I don't know how well, you know, you'll be able to see it, but so that's kind of like the building and then the um, pool set up there. And so I just think it's going to be great. And there is multiple pools, I believe, as well. Um, again, they'll have a sit down restaurant. And so we're really excited to try out Riviera for sure. And so hopefully we can get this one on the books here very soon, as soon as the uh, military pricing is released for us is what we're waiting for. And I did want to go back, sorry, and I just saw it, so I forgot. But going back to um, the Animal Kingdom Lodge, one of the cool things, like you get when you go to the Polynesian, you get a lay. When you go to the Animal Kingdom Lodge, you get this wildlife spotting guide. Here, show them. So it comes with your room, so you you have to try to spot the animals that are on here when you're looking at your window. Well, and like, even if you're not on the safari, 
like a safari room view. Like it's okay because throughout the entire resort, there are places you can stop, remember, and go out and see yeah. like, it's just like, like animal the, like viewing. The, like the lobby, you could just go look right. at the lobby. So even if you're not staying the there hallways. or you're just going there to eat, which or the, the food's amazing. Yeah, but there's so many places throughout there that you can go and we view the animals. So it's awesome to get this animal antelope. sighting. Yeah, a roan antelope. Rope. To get this and be able to really see um, you know, kind of, and it explains like each animal, yeah, you know, like what they look like. Meets. And, and so it's just really cool at some of these places that you go to get things like this, to yeah. go with the theming of, you know, of the hotel. So, but we're really excited. Um, we have not stayed at a lot of these hotels. So that's again, why, that's why we were explaining all of them. Right. So again, if you all have stayed at any of these, um, please, please give us what you guys loved about it. Um, you know, things that you learned while you were there, things that we should look out for, um, or really take, make, make sure we do, you know, we want to make sure that we get to enjoy the hotels. And, and again, it's, some of these are going to be quick turns, um, because we're only staying one night and we're going to be like, we're here, we're gone the next morning. So it's, like, it's going to be a little crazy, but there's a few that we want to make sure we do certain things, um, certain things while we're there, mm -hmm. like the horse and carriage while we're at Port Orleans. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, but, um, I do know, like, I would like when we stay at Coronado Springs to be able to have an opportunity to eat at least one of those new restaurants because they're supposed to both be really amazing. So, um, but yeah, just let us know where you've stayed or which ones of these that you would love to stay at. And I do see Summer said she'd like to stay there. I'm assuming you mean Animal Kingdom Lodge, but I'm not sure. So, um, Look, mom, mom, mom. On this blue thingy. Okay, it's okay. It's There's a, a bug. <laughs> Everybody, we're okay. There's a bug. Yes, yeah. So Animal Kingdom is awesome. But again, even if you're not staying there, you should go focus. Okay. Um, <laughs> even if you're not staying there, just going there for either a, a meal or going there just to spend some time. Um, you know, it's it is an amazing, amazing place to get to hang out. So I do. We really, really do like it. Yes. The safari view is amazing because like we've actually been in the very same, very same um, area each time. So we've always had giraffes and zebras. A lot of zebras. I think we've had some antelope. And so we've marked some of them. So we definitely had giraffe. Oh, yeah. Mark, Mac marked the roan antelope. So, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing when you open your window and you like they all have like, patios whoa. and you can kind of just walk yeah. out and there they are. So it is pretty amazing, but um, yeah. What else? So which one are you most excited for? Probably, um, Bay Lake. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. And then the Polly Bungalows. Bungalow. Well, we might not stay. We're not probably staying in a bungalow. I know, but we're, I'm so excited but about that. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> it, it is on our list. Be nice. But uh, don't know if that one's going to happen. But it will be nice to get to try something different. And then do you want to talk about that? So we are excited to also show that we did just get, um, for all of you that don't know or uh, would like to see what the quality is, we did get some items off of our Tee Public store, which we are using as another way to raise money for the charities that we're raising money for. And so these are like vinyl stickers of yeah. all the designs. There's a couple new designs on there, but of at the time, these yes, were all the designs. The yeah. And um, so these are the stickers. And... Um, and thank you. We love these stickers too. Um, but yeah, so we also have some buttons coming so that we can show you guys the quality. And I get a cup. And uh, she's ordered a cup and we have a couple t-shirts coming. Everything's just taking a little longer to get here right now, but um, we are really excited. And like Mackenzie said, sorry, she just shoved her hand in there, but this is our new one um, and I'll read it to you, but it says smile. There's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow shining at the end, end of, of every, every day, day. Um, which most of you probably realize that comes from Carousel of Progress. And then the rest of these, um, you know, I just want to make sure we stay inspirational and, uh, you know, obviously carry on the random acts of Disney kindness. So spread the rest kindness. of these are very much, um, you know, to spread kindness. So we are excited um, and uh, we will be doing some giveaways. Yes, so so. Um, if you would like to win one of these stickers, uh, please, uh, you know, all of you obviously that have commented, um, are entered. And then we will also, anybody who watches this later and leaves a comment, um, 
you know, we will include you into the drawing that we'll do to win a sticker. And then for each live button. stream that we do, uh, we will try to do some type of giveaway. I think like next time we'll work on doing the buttons. And if then, we even get them. <laughs> well, we'll get them. It's, it's like a little late. Even get them. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, we're excited. We would love to spread the kindness by giving these away so that this, the kindness can keep going. And um, but thank you all for being here. Our goal will be to do these live streams every Sunday through um, September. We will skip next weekend, but other than next weekend, we will be doing it every Sunday to kind of go through different aspects of the Except. ultimate Disney bucket list adventure. Except next weekend. Um, we will I said be doing that. It. Yes. And then, so, and then after that, we will get back to a uh, normal programming of some crafts and getting ready for the holidays and all the fun stuff yet to come. And then as we get closer to the trips starting, which the first one is in January, um, the countdown for that is 152 days. I will send a photo of the countdown out after this. But um, again, that will be the Twitter meetup. Craft beers? What's I don't know what that means. <laughs> um but we are very excited about the uh, Disney social media meetup. And that, again, is in January. So that will be our next Droid. trip. And, the first kick and that is also our kickoff trip for the um, ultimate Disney World bucket list adventure. So we're super pumped about all of it. Um, so 152 days till that. And as we get closer to that, we will start doing videos to get us prepared for that and to talk about the things we will be doing for that particular trip. So, again... Um, thank you all for being here. We really do appreciate it. And for all of you that watch after, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. Not next Sunday. You're right. Yeah. This will be the Sunday after that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I got to pee.